Hey you guys! Welcome back! My name is Priscilla and in this video I have an all drugstore makeup look. So I'll be using um, all of the products from the drugstore. And before I go, if you guys hear a noise, um, different noises like that. Bubba, he's in here with me, our dog. And then um, one of the neighbors or someone is doing housework or something. So um, I apologize in advance if you guys hear some extra noise. Um, but I'll go ahead and hopefully get through it with as minimal background noise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Prime by Studio, the primer. Priming my face with it. Mm. And it has like, what kind of smell is that? Mm. Ah, smells familiar, but I have no idea. what it smells like. Ah. It's not coming to me. It does have a smell. Mm. Oh, and it has um, SPF 30, which is always great. I already put um, sunblock on my face too. That's been my new thing is uh, making sure that I put sunscreen um, when I wash my face in the morning. So I'll put my, sometimes I'll put like a, what is that called? Thing. Um, a oil? Yeah. Something like a vitamin oil or something like that. Who <laughs> forgot. But I'll put something like that. Um, all over my face first after I get out the shower and then I'll go in with my moisturizer and then um, SPF. And I've been trying to make it a habit uh, since I've been pregnant or when I was pregnant with the little one. Um, I started doing that. So even if I wasn't going to go anywhere, I would still put um, SPF on my, my face. So I want to make it a, a habit of doing and then try to make sure that I put um, lotion and you know kind of keep up with my my face like not my face but you guys know what I mean like taking care of your face um, now you know I'm getting a little bit older now I'm in my thirties now so gotta uh, go ahead and start um, implementing. A routine for that uh, because you know and when I was in my 20s I sure didn't so now I'm making sure I'll put SPF on and I will I bring it down to my neck and sometimes to my uh, chest area right here um, because you know you gotta make it look seamless gotta make it look seamless with the Milani concealer and perfect um, I hauled this one so now I'm gonna try it out wait yeah I got mine in light to natural. It has a smell. Um, okay, okay. I'll admit a little bit something about myself. I like to smell things, I know, it's weird, but I do. It does have a smell. It reminds me of like makeup when I was smaller. And mom, you used to grab mom's makeup, you know? Kind of rates me something like that. Put some right here. I'm gonna use my mirror from my butter. Not sure. Does anyone else have issues when you buy a concealer? 
you don't know if you're getting the right shade. I always, always, always when I buy concealer, I don't know if I'm getting, ooh, I do not like that. Oh yeah, no. It's, it kind of looks a little drying. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit more because. Okay, let's see. I feel like it's guys are gonna get a first impression of this too. Um I feel like it's on the drier side, which is not a good look for me. I know some people um like the dry concealer. I mean there's a different formula for everyone, right? But, oh. Okay, it looks kind of drying, but right now when I put my powder, and I still feel like my under eyes, mm, they're still popping out. Oh, I, I, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Airspun Loose Powder and set my under eyes with it and see if that does anything. Don't judge me. I have not washed my brushes again. Okay. I'm going to go in and try to take some of the creases out before I put the powder because I crease very easily and I have a lot, a lot of um, fine lines under here. Yeah, no. I do not think that I like this concealer. Gotta say. Okay, so we need to go quick, quick. I'm going to use the airspun to set my face. And I know I've used this before. I was going to use a face, actual face powder, but I guess I forgot to grab it. So that's okay. We'll use this for right now. Um, it is drugstore. I got mine at Walgreens. Did I put foundation on my nose? Um, it looks like I did. <laughs> well, I'll find out when I edit. <laughs> it happened. And I'll be using the Butter Bronzer in Bronzer, the shade bronzer. I know they have like a lighter one and a darker one, but I just use the original one. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's like, I guess it depends what time of year it is. If I have a little bit less color, it works good. If I have a little bit more color, then it doesn't work as good, but I feel like it is. Okay, I know I said this with the concealer earlier, but I don't know, I feel like I always have trouble trying to figure out what colors or what shades work for me, like the ones that actually pop onto my skin. So I'll see it here in the mirror and I'm like, yeah, it looks like it's popping up. But then if I take a photo, I kind of barely see it. And sometimes if I'm in a different lighting, I barely see it. I don't know, it's kind of a thing. And I know it's with bronzer and concealer. Those are my ones that I, I'm not sure if I always choose like the right if it goes good with my skin tone. So I know there's some that make my skin like a little con bronzers. Um, a little like muddy, I guess. So I'm still trying to learn how to pick the right shades for me. Some under here to kind of camouflage that double chin that Belle gave me. Not even Josiah, I had it from Belle. Yeah, then sometimes 
it could look a little too much like okay I think I put too much but then it might not reflect that way makeup is kind of interesting like that I'm gonna use the brush that I um, set my under eyes with and just run it whatever was on here under here maybe clean it up a little bit so it looks I don't know to me it looks kind of funky but so that's the butter bronzer oh let's see the smell is kind of going away already. I've had it for like two years or something. And I have the bronzer set. I'm going to go in with blush. Some blush. And I'll be using the Milani powder brush in tea rose. It's funny, when I was in um, high school, my cheeks, they naturally um, are rosy. So they would ask me if I would use blush. Um, so I would say, no, I don't. It's just my cheeks are like that. So then people will be like, oh, you're so lucky. It looks like you have blush on. Um, and then w once I started actually getting into makeup, I would want to get foundation that would actually cover my blush, my blush cheeks, so that they don't look red. But then now I love blush. Like, <laughs> also, uh, they're rosy. And um, if I don't have makeup, you, my face does get quite rosy. Um, but... Now, um, I really like blush, so if I was to choose between blush and bronzer, I'd um, choose blush. I'm going to be using um, a new product from Red and Wet and Wild. It's the Brow Sessive um, Brow Pencil. And I have it in the shade Medium Brown. And I'll be using this for my brows. I've been using it a few times now and I actually really like it. It's $2. Now for eyebrow gel, I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel in brown. I needed to get the shade darker than this one because it's quite light on my... Well, not quite light, but... I feel like it is lighter. I'm going to go in, um, I have the Milani eyeshadow primer that I normally use, which is my go-to eyeshadow primer. I used to love the Wet n Wild one that they used to have when the Fergie line was out. But once that was discontinued, the eyeshadow primer was also discontinued, it seems, because I can't find it. Um, and that was my, like, holy grail eyeshadow primer. <sighs> Memories. So I'm going to be using the Milani concealer for now and I'm just going to powder it. When I was pregnant, this worked fine. Um, now that my hormones are regulating again, or sort of regulating, um, I noticed that I, I creased a little bit with the doing this kind of trick. Some people who are on the dry skin, this works perfect for them and they just use the concealer powder and their eyeshadow and they're fine. But I creased. I've had an issue with creasing. I was, well, was oily skin. I am starting to get back to being oily skin too. I noticed my skin is changing back. It was um, dry. Whenever I'm pregnant, my skull, my skull, ha, huh, my skin goes dry, and then it just regulates. Right, um, it goes back. Usually, my skin looks pretty good. I'm a little dry, but it's pretty good when I'm pregnant. Hey, you guys. So just in case my camera, it stopped recording. I don't know when it stopped recording. So I wanted to just film this just in case I didn't catch it on camera. Um, for my eyeshadow, I did. I did. I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Nude Awakening, the 10 palette one. 10 palette. 10 pen palette one. Um, this is the older version of it, or the older, old packaging. The new packaging is in the white color. The white, yeah, <laughs> the white one. Um, I hauled it like a week ago or so. Um, but I am using this palette here. I'm using this shade here for my uh, crease area, as well as this one. I put some in my outer V here. Um, very softly as well as um, softly blended that into the crease. 
I use this shade here for uh, my all over lid color. And then I use this one here for under my eyebrows, like my eyebrow, eyebrow bone highlighter shade right here. I forgot what that's called. And then I also use it as my inner corner highlighter. I know, some people use the shimmer or like a satin shade. You rarely, or if, have ever heard of anyone use a matte shade. But of course makeup, it's for you to experiment with and have fun with it. So, you know, you get creative with it and use it. Use different methods with it or techniques or something. So, I'm using the, um, the matte shade as an inner uh, highlighter shade and I like it. I don't need it to be since my lid is already shimmer or satin finish so and then I don't feel like the concealer the Milani concealer did a good job concealing that area so it helps kind of pop that on to help that area and then I went in with the Jordana 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil in my waterline Jordana I know right Walgreens Jordana, oh, that was like one of like the cheaper brands of drugstore makeup. I don't even know if people still use Jordana really. I haven't really heard about it in a while, but I do like it for my uh, waterline as well. And you can even use it on your eyelid as um, like a base if you wanted to. Which I was supposed to use that as a base, but I forgot. Uh, maybe, oh, maybe if I use like, um, I have a palette my mom had bought us for Christmas, the Natasha Denona bronzer one. Oh, so it's a nice palette. Um, the matte, I love them. Some of the, the satin shades, I love them. The ones that are more like glitter, they fall out a lot. Don't like that. So I need a base. And I know like glitter glues they use, but I don't know who sells glitter glue. Like which brand? I guess if I research it, I don't know, huh? No. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. So, oh, and I also use the red shade under my eyeshadow line. Under my eyeshadow, no, what? My under lash, eyeshadow lash line. Right here. I forgot if I mentioned that or not. I went in with the Sky High mascara from Maybelline. I did purchase it in the waterproof one, as I said that I would. And I use that for my eyelashes here. Um, I'm waiting for them to dry. That's when I realized that the camera might not be worked on still and it wasn't. So now I will be using this on my lower lash line because um, I can only use waterproof mascara down there. If not, it smudges and not even all waterproof mascaras work well down there. Some still smudge on me. And this is where I'm at now. Whenever you're working like in your waterline, uh, putting eyeshadow under your um, eyeshadow under eye line. <sighs> Need to learn what that is called. Um, or even mascara, remember to blink. Sometimes I forget and your eye ends up all watery. For me. So I'm going in with the Just Glow Hard Candy uh, Highlighter. I have not opened this. I got this um, at Dollar Tree when they were just like popping out with all kinds of makeup, drugstore makeup. I didn't bring my highlighter brush, but that's okay. When things like that happen, it's okay to improvise. I'm just making sure. And I'm actually going to be using a um, eyeshadow brush. You know, a blending brush to go in with it, so that's okay. Let's see, this one has three shades. Oh, next to the right. mm. I'm just gonna blend. If you blend all three of them, like you get different. Um, these are by itself, and this is the one that has all three blended. I think I'm just going to blend these two together. Let's see what I get. Just put a little bit down. 
my nose here. Give it on my nose. You do highlighter however you like. A little bit right here. On my cupid's bow. Okay. I like it. I uh, feel it might be a little bit too harsh. Don't worry. Ah, oh, caramba! Just go in with another brush and blend it out. I just recently bought the gel lip liner from Doll Litter Tree, the wet and wild one, in Never Petal Down. Ooh. I don't think I want to use that. I also bought the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in Satin Sheets. At Dollar Tree 2. Oh, there's more packaging. I think that will go good. But we, that's a, lips, a, lips, a lip gloss. Oh, a lipstick, not a lip gloss. I don't know why I thought it was a lip gloss. I got them back. Okay. Let her go for it. No. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm just gonna go in with the Joe lip liner one in the color Never Petal Down after all. Cause I do not like the other color. Maybe I'll just use a little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna top it off with the lipstick, the High Shine lipstick in Satin Sheet. So this is it you guys, this is the finished look using all uh, drugstore products. A little bit close. I do not like how the lipstick makes my teeth look yellow. <laughs> ah, but I wanted to try them out. I thought the liquid lipstick was a lip gloss. I did not read the packaging correctly, but that's okay. We're going to make it work somehow. And yeah, so I hope you guys like this look. And if you stay till the end, go ahead and give this video a like. Yay! And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. And yeah, and if you want to be notified of upcoming videos, hit that notification bell as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye you guys and have a blessed day. Bye.